Alright, here we go, up against Ghost X02. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Always much appreciated. We are going to ship this hand. What land? And it's an Ardenvale. Not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. Opponent also mulligan, so that's good news. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Question will be, what are we putting back because I like all these things um I think we're keeping our I think we're keeping our land so I guess we bottom skyclave for now I do love skyclave but until we know what we're up against it may not even be good opponent plays aspire buff canal casting serum visions seems like probably a good option to pitch the skyclave Two cards on the bottom. What are we up against? Some sort of combo? Ether Vial. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and play out our Ether Vial. This is pretty good. Next turn, next turn we can play out Arbiter One Drop, potentially, depending on what happens with our opponent. Flagstones of Trocare. All right, so this is going to be interesting with Arbiter because if our opponent targets our own lands, we won't get to search. So we may not play Arbiter next turn because of that. We may wait and try to try to flash in Arbiter when they target their own flagstones. Of course, we also have Noble here. So maybe it doesn't matter. Draw stone forge mystic. Well, yeah, that's actually. So I think we'll just play that. Uh, this does give our opponent the ability to to uh, to blow up their own flagstones. We'll see if that matters. I guess we go get the Batter Skull. Oh, we're up against this deck again! Oh, goody. Alright, they countered our Stoneforge Mystic. Sure. Good job, opponent. Good job, opponent. Alright, alright, alright. Let's hope they can't blow up their flagstones this turn, giving us the ability to vial in an arbiter in response. Hallowed Fountain. Cast Snapcaster for Serum Visions. Okay. Um, and I think we're just going to vial in Giver here. Giver for protection seems useful. Alright, well maybe we'll get to see what this deck really can do this time around if we're playing the same deck it seems like with tails end it seems like we're playing against the same deck i don't know too many decks in modern that play tails end maybe tails end is just really good you could like counter an arrow counter a uh counter a uh a teferi that's a thing i guess you could also just use an actual counter spell but still, still, you get to counter the, uh, hmm. Giver of Runes! Alright, so we get to leave up Arbiter here, which is nice, very nice. We will use the either vial ability. Double arbiter. Double arbiter. Hmm. 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 Um, I think we're just gonna play the noble and say go. I don't want to put an arbiter out just yet. Just yet. Because our opponent has cleansing wildfire. And I'd like to get them when they go for it. We'll see, though. We'll see. 
I guess I could have attacked him with Stoneforge. It's not really doing a lot with for us, so if they did want to make the trade for Snapcaster, it would have been fine. I also probably wouldn't have. Also, could give her runes for protection. Raugrin Triome. Lightning Bolt. Okay. I guess we'll choose blue. So they can't attack him with Snapcaster. Alright, I think at this point we're going to activate Vile, put in Arbiter. We'll probably get paths in response and be real sad. But we don't have anything worth pathing at the moment anyway, so... Or that we'd be that sad about losing, necessarily. Mm, they're thinking about it. No, no, okay. No path. No path yet, at least. Um. Okay, are we going to take up our vial... I don't think so. We have three mana, so we can play a three drop if we need to. Collected. Okay. At this point, let's see. Oh, we can attack in with Arbiter because of Exalted. No blocks, no blocks. Alright, we just need a land to get to Fairy. Or pff, to get to the Fairy. To dodge to Fairy, to get to Collected Company. Okay. We can also draw an equipment card just, you know, for fun. Hard to do when you still have 70 cards left in your deck. Why couldn't we run up against Mill? Come on. Come on. Cast Blood Sun. All lands lose all abilities except mana abilities. Okay. So now they get to play their fancy land. For free. And gain three mana off of it. That is unfortunate. Um, all right, I guess we're going to vial in our second Arbiter. They didn't have the land, which is good, the Lotus Field. So that's something, I suppose. If we can just get one more land, we can get this Coco going, and that might Quite a bit. Yeah, we'll use the ability of the Ether Vial. Okay. Talia would be pretty okay here as well. Certainly would not mind that. I think we will take a Vial at this point. Castle Ardenvale comes into play tapped because we don't have a Plains. All right, well, that means Coco... Oh, oh, it doesn't actually because of Blood Sun. Look at that. It also can't do its thing, but that's fine. Um, all right, all right. Well, let's get in there with the Arbiter. Attack for three. Opponent blocks this time, all right. Cool, cool. Get rid of the Snapcaster. Do they get to land? Beginning of combat. 
And okay, well, we're gonna try to Coco. I wonder if Brushland deals damage to us. Archon of Amiria. Um, okay, Archon seems real good. Flicker Wisp for Stoneforge to go get a Batter Skull. Oh no, we can't because we have double Arbiter, which we could pay for though. Is the thing, or do we just get Talia? Talia could actually be really good here as well. So yeah, let's get Archon and Talia here. Make it harder for our opponent to to do their spells. Any order. Okay, go to our turn. So now our opponent has to have a kill spell for Archon in order to go off, I believe. Well, no, that's, wrong. that's not right, because this is not the Twiddle Storm deck, so... They don't necessarily need that. Um, always no. Always yield. Vile, staying on three. Where we want it. Get a planes, okay. Okay, well that means we get to play Yorion next turn. Let's go to combat. And uh, I think we're just attacking with everybody at this point. Trying to get our opponent dead. I guess they could snap in a Snapcaster, but it doesn't look like they're going to. I also don't think that's that bad. We'd lose maybe Stoneforge, maybe, maybe Arbiter. So, all right, let's get our Yorion from the side. This doesn't mean that we can't pay for Arbiter if they have, like, Path or something, but... That's probably fine. We've got them down to six. We don't need a whole lot more to kill them, hopefully. Hopefully. Sparbleff Canal comes into play tapped, so that's their land for turn. And they concede. I think that Archon was pretty clutch there. Also Talia helping us out. Um, okay. Okay. What do we need? I think we need Mind Sensor, Mind Sensor. And Revoker for Teferi's, I think. Um, they're running a lot of paths, and they're running Cleansing Wildfire, so I think we actually take out the Arbiters. I would love to keep them in, because they also fetch a lot, but I think that's, I think that's probably correct. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I've only gotten to play this deck, what is it, three times now? Apologies for the double feature, but this is a league. Reveal our Yorion. Have we gotten to play Yorion once in this league so far? I don't know that we have. Punt getting two six. This is many lands. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's not the fastest hand, but we do have Stoneforge Mystic. Which can get our Batter Skull down. None of our hate pieces, unfortunately. This also like sets us up for Coco if we do find a Coco. Plays their Triome. Charming Prince. Charming Prince isn't bad here. Uh, let's play a Branch Loft Pathway. And a Noble Hierarch. And pass it back to our opponent. So next turn we can get down Stoneforge. Following turn we can leave up Activation and play Charming Prince. Bolts the Hierarch. Okay. Well, not much we can do about that. So much for our plans. Uh, Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp is okay. Uh, let's play the Boulder Loft Pathway. 
and play a Stone Forge Mystic. Yes, we'd like to use its ability. Yes, I would like to go and get a Batter Skull. And pass it back to our opponent. If they do have another bolt here, we do have the second Stone Forge Mystic ready and waiting. It doesn't mean waiting an extra turn to get it out. Plays of Flagstones. Giver of Runes. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Uh, well, we will play a Giver of Runes. If our opponent is considering Path. Okay, they're not going to play Path yet. Okay. I almost played our Charming Prince out right there. It's like, bah, da, 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 da. just play turn movements. All right, we're gonna pass the turn. Leave up Batter Skull. Plays an island. Begins combat. Passes their turn. All right, let's activate. I wonder if they have Tails End here. Is that what's gonna happen? Are you going to end our Tail opponent? Mm, doesn't look like it. Maybe they will for the uh, germ. They could, they could tails on the germ token. That'd be kind of funny. But they don't. So maybe they just have a path. The path doesn't really work here either because we have giver of runes. All right. Well, let's go to combat. I suppose. Actually, I guess we should have played second Stone Forge, got Maul, so we can like activate Maul. Meh. That's probably the better play there. We probably should have done that. I mean, I guess uh, they also like could have they could have like Cryptic Command up as well. Opponent takes four. Down to 16, we're up to 23. Um, Let's see, we played a land this turn, yes. So let's go ahead and play Stoneforge Mystic. To go get... Actually, maybe we go get our sword. To get our sword, we get the Maul. Sword protects against things like Bolt. Maul kind of does too, though. Yeah, I think we're going to get the Maul. We can activate it, equip it with protection up from Giver of Runes. Maul does not actually protect against Bolt, obviously, but it gives plus two, plus two. All of our creatures have two toughness, ergo protection from blue. We also like Charming Prince or Flicker Wisp. Uh, to bounce a Stoneforge Mystic and go get our final equipment piece. If we so desire. Snapcaster. Oh, if you're going to bolt opponent, I, I don't I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, maybe they have the Tails End too. No, well, no, they can't have the Tails End if they're going to bolt. That doesn't work. Okay. So, cool story, bro. Uh, we're going to flash in Maul of the Skyclaves. I choose this equipment. We're going to attach Maul to Giver of Runes. I guess they could have, like, Monkey. If they have the Monkey, then they got us. Doesn't look like they do. Lightning Bolt enters the Exile Zone. Lotus Field sacrifice two lands. Sacrifices flagstones, gets to go search. Uh, 
Sure. Lotus Field Online. Um, we can't just win, can we? Uh, I don't think we can. The problem with, I guess, putting this on Giver Runes, like maybe we should have just let that go. It's the problem being now that we have a Giver Runes that has our. Ooh. Ooh. Collected company, you say? Um, so yeah, do we like attack in with giver runes now? I guess. I mean, our opponent could have could have path up, could have path up. Um, okay, let's get in there. I think we're gonna get in with everything at this point as well. We don't have anything up for stone forges or anything like that. Uh, end of turn, we're gonna Coco. So yeah, let's just get in with everything. If I wasn't worried a little bit about Wrath, I would say we should Coco in our turn to avoid counter spells. But I think what we're actually gonna do is wait until they cast their first spell. Then Coco, hope we get an Archon. Put him down to 11. We are up to 26. Because Archon would be pretty nifty here. Especially in response to a cast spell. Plays of Planes. Down to three cards, too. Hmm. They have nothing? Are they just not going to play anything? Do we play Coco into that? Like, because they definitely have Counterspell up? I guess this gets the Cryptic out of their hand? If they have it, like, they have to use it now? As opposed to on our attack step? That's where my thought process is at. We could also just, like, Gavany, I suppose. But I think we're going to try to Coco. I'm sure they have Cryptic. They're going to Cryptic bounce Spatter Skull, potentially, I guess, is a thing they could do. But this gets the Cryptic out of their hand, lets us attack. And I think that is important. Other line being here just to crack the canopy for more cards. Um, but yeah, I think we want our opponent dead as quickly as possible. They're trying to get to the long game. They're trying to pull this out as long as they can. Um, so I think putting the bodies on the board. Okay, and they just let us have it. All right, well, our options are Giver Runes and Flicker Wisp. Um, so let's do those. Uh, any order, Flicker Wisp is going to target a Stoneforge. I could target the Maul and put the Maul on somebody else, like the Flicker Wisp. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that, that fails to bolt. So we're gonna we're gonna flicker the Stoneforge. Go get our last sword. Well, I guess we won't get our last sword until our end step because of this. So yeah, it's good that we did not do the small. Small. This will come back on our end step because we are at the end step right now. Which is fine. We can also Gavany this turn. I'm assuming our, our opponent has to have Cryptic, and that's why they were they were trying to decide whether or not to do it then. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we want white mana. Now we're going to go to combat. And we are going to attempt to kill our opponent. Let's see. Um, we will not attack with... 
We're not going to attack with Stoneforge Giver this turn, but we will attack with everything else. Cryptic! Cryptic. Tap draw. Sure. Um, let's get Yorion. And let's play out Charming Prince to set up our draw here. Could play Flicker Whisk to be most mana efficient, but I'd like to set up what we're going to get next. Um... I'll take both of those things, actually. Top and top. Revoker takes takes care of Teferi if we need it. Okay, let's get our Stoneforge. Oh, no! Oh, this was dumb! Why do we do this? Um. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go get our sword. We're not gonna not get our sword. Um, but that was, that was dumb. I should have just played out the fifth course. Um, I don't know what we would have flickered. Oh, we should, oh, no, we can't. I, I keep wanting to flicker Lotus Field, but that is not a thing we can do. Um, well, our opponent's going to need running cryptics in order to just not die, because we definitely have lethal. Draw a Giver of Runes, which is much less exciting. Alright. Um, let's put a sword into play. Uh, equip sword to Flicker Wisp. I guess it's big of bolts. I just want to Hmm. Actually, I guess at this point we attach it to Giver of Runes. Because um, Giver of Runes also has flying, does not die to bolt. So. Let's do that. Go to combat. Begin combat. Do you have another cryptic? don't seem to have another cryptic so what do they have path doesn't save them here maybe it does I'm in an actual math here because who does math they have settle settle would suck they have oh they have settle okay well I guess we get to go get a lot of lands Guess we go get a lot of lands. Yeah, we'll use its ability, that's for sure. Oh, I guess we only have two lands to get. Uh, get this one, get this one. I think that's all. Yep, that's all. No more basic lands to search for. Alright, alright. Fair enough, opponent. Fair enough. Um... We're going to re-equip Sword to Stoneforge Mystic, I think. We could have played out Giver of Runes. We already have a Giver of Runes, so... Yeah, Settle was rough there. Settle was rough. Oh man, our time got eaten up. All right, well, we get to put out Batter Skull again. We can also attach Maul to the Stoneforge. If we want to just do that, that might be the best idea. Yeah, 
think we'll probably attach Maul to Stoneforge here. And then just start getting in. Razor Verge Thicket. Can we also activate Gavity? Let's see. So this would be... Um, two damage to any target. So two, four, seven, nine. It's close. 10, 11 if we attack with both of these other things. I don't think we can though. So let's attach Maul. Gotta pay four. White, white, whatever, whatever. I guess we could have attached Batter Skull, which would have done more damage. But I missed that. Because I was thinking we wanted to bounce it and replay it or flicker wisp it. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Protection from blue, protection from red, protection from whatever we need, really. I also get to draw a card with this. What do they have? Do they have another settle? I can't target Stoneforge. Cast Snapcaster. For another settle. I mean, that's a thing you can do, I suppose. That is a thing you can do. Alright, so in this case, I think what we'll probably do is Flicker Wisp the Maul. Maul... Or do we flicker with Batter Skull? No, I think we flicker with Maul. Um, yeah, let's shuffle our deck. Um, oh, they could still have. Oh, but Bolt doesn't do anything. So yeah, so we're gonna flicker with Maul. Attach Maul to Flicker Wisp. Next turn, we can attach the rest of the things to Flicker Wisp. Okay. Means that we should potentially, maybe, have lethal. Next turn. Could at some point play Yorion to bounce some things. Hmm. <laughs> Our time is also going super fast. Is this Shark Typhoon? Okay, Shark Typhoon is fine because we can give protection from blue. So Shark Typhoon does nothing. don't think. And well, they actually cast it. Play to Steam Bones. Sure. We're also at a very healthy life total, so it's going to take a while for them to kill us if they're trying to kill us. Um, cleansing Wildfire. Targeting our Horizon Canopy. Sure, that's fine. We don't care. Yeah, you get a 2-2. Two -two. That can't block is your problem. I don't know why I keep clicking yes. <laughs> that's just eating into our time. Um, okay, sure. So we can attach both things, and our opponent's down to nine, so I think we just have lethal here, because they're tapped out. And we have pro blue. Reserve ticket. Okay, so we're gonna attach this sword to a creature we control. Reserve 
going to equip this batter skull to this creature that we control. I don't know of anything in modern that I can think of off the top of my head that gets around this. I'm probably wrong. We're probably about to find out exactly what that is. <sighs> we got there. We got there. Oh, man. What a crazy matchup. This deck is crazy weird. Lotus Field. Uh, but uh, we were about to attack in with an 11-11, so that's pretty fun. Uh, thanks again for watching. Sticking around to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Helps out the channel quite a bit. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, let's hope we don't face against Uro or Lotus Field next game. <laughs> Thank you for watching High Ground MTG with co-hosts Kai Guy and Spiny Mouse. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future episodes of High Ground MTG. For even more videos, be sure to check out our playlists so that you can have the high ground.